Hello everyone. Today is a very special day. I want to show you my uh, favorite collection, which is of course the, the Mick, Mickey Mantle. So I'm going to show you today all of my graded Mickey Mantle cards. Um, basically I have most, uh, oh, well all of the um, regular cards. I'm just missing uh, a few of them which are actually, I have them but they're not graded. But I have pretty much the complete uh, Mickey Mantle run of Topps cards and Bowman cards. So here we go. First of all, here's the 1969 Mantle. Last name in yellow. And that's a beautiful PSA 7 edition. There's the back. This card has all his stats because this was his last year, his last card. Next is the uh, 1968 Mantle. And that's in a uh, PSA 6. And there it is. Go to off center, left to right. But a nice card, sharp corners, there's the back. Now comes the 1967 mantle. Again, that one's in a PSA 7. Most of my mantles, you'll see they're in great condition. I've been collecting these for, oh God, over 30 years. So here's the mantle in 67. Beautifully centered. I'm going to show you the back of it. And that's the 67 mantle. Here's the 66 mantle. The PSA 6. And this is another really nice card. They're all real nice. I love these mantle cards. This one's uh, off center, top to bottom. But super, super sharp corners. Beautiful picture. That's what I'm looking for. I want the card to look like it's right out of the pack. And you can see that's a beauty. Off centered, but it's just it's like a brand new card. And here's the back of it. That's number 50. Of the 1966. Here comes the 1965. That's also a beautiful card with the uh, with the Yankee banner. That's also in a seven. And yeah, take a good look at it. Again, it's a nice, nice card. It's a little bit off centered, but uh, beautiful picture, sharp corners. A nice card. Let's take a look at the back of it. That's the back. Okay, here comes the 1964 mantle. Once again, in a seven. This one's beautifully centered. Another beautiful card there. 1964 mantle, 64 tops, of course. Give you a good look at that. Let's look at the back. Nice sharp card. the 64. Let's move on to the 63. Here's the 63 and that's in a 6. That's a tough one to get in great condition because of the uh, green borders. So 
This is a 63 male and a 6. Attach the back of it. comes the 62 mantle. This is one of the hardest ones to get in great condition. The uh, brown borders, really you can see every little speck of white on these borders, but this is a really nice example of a um, PSA 7. It's nicely centered and nice corners and nice borders. So here comes a good look at the 62. A nice 62. 62 metal centered. It's a beautiful card, and here comes the back. It's number 200. Nice 62 in a PSA 7. That's a 62. So let's look at the uh, 62 All Star. I've got a bunch of these 62s all graded. So here's a 62 All Star card. And this one's a uh, 6. It's miscut. It looks so brand new. I mean, look at the corners on that thing. Sharp, sharp, sharp. It's just uh, off centered. They called it a miscut, which it is. Here's the back of it. So that is the 62 All Star card. <coughs> now we're going to move on to the 62. Manager's Dream Mantle, and that's the Mantle and Maze card. That's in a five. And that's a really, really nice card with uh, Manager's Dream. The Maze and the Mantle. Let's look at that card, it's in a five. And here's the back. The next one is the, uh, again, one more, last one for 1962, is the Home Run Leaders. And this is a really, really nice card because it has Roger Maris, and that's when he broke Babe Ruth's record of 61 home runs. And there's uh, Mickey Mantle and another uh, Hall of Famer, Harmon Killebrew. So this is a really nice card with three Hall of Famers the year that Roger Maris broke the record, and here's a card that shows that. And that's in a 7. 1962, there's the man. And there's Maris. Sixty-one home run leaders. And there's the back. And the back shows you all of the home runs. Mantle, Maris. Gentile, Kilabu, Calavito, Cash. The top home runs hitters in that year. So that is the leaders, home run leaders cards. So moving on to 1960. That's, I mean, 61. There's a 61 mantle. That's also in a near mint seven. Most of my cards in, the, in these years are in the seven. And here's another good look at that card. It's off centered, a little bit left to right. It's nice top to bottom, but it's a gorgeous card. Nice, nice sharp card. 
card, nice corners. Looks like it's just out of the pack. And let's look at the back of it. And there is the 61. one now. Let's move on to the 60 now. And there's the 1960 mantle. It's a nice card. It's horizontal. It's got him in a batting stance. That one's also in a seven. And that one's beautifully centered. Another nice beautiful mantle card. Really nice condition. And let's take a, look, take a look at the back of it. That's the back of the card. It's got like a print mark line on the top where it says Mickey Mantle, but it's not too bad. It's in the back. You can see the corner is nice and sharp, so it's a nice, beautiful. PSA 7. Nice six, 1960 PSA 7. So it's moving on to 1959. There's 1959, card number 10. This one's graded at 4.5. Nicely centered, just has a little rough corners on that. In fact, that's the 59 mantle. And a four and a half. And there's the back. That's the back of the mantle. Says uh, 53 series, Mickey hit a grand slam home run. He has the record for home runs in World Series. It's eight, and here's the, again, the 59 and the four and a half. Now here comes the 59 All-Star, and that one is in a six. This one, again, is a little off-center, top to bottom. All of these older cards, or vintage cards, are really, really hard to get centered. That's pretty much the main problem with these. You're not going to get them centered. The printing quality back then was just, you know, they just didn't care. Because these were really not collectibles back then. But here's the 59 All-Star. And here's the back of the 59 All-Star. That's the 59 All-Star. Number 564. And now we're going to move on to the 1958. That's the 1958 mantle, and that one's in a four. That's a nice card. It's got the nice orange background. And even though, oops, even though that this one's in a four, you can see that it's a really, really nice shape. And very nicely centered. It's really hard to get these cards centered again. And this is a nice clean example with a nice bright orange background here. And here's the back of the card. Here's the back. You see the corners aren't perfect, but it really is a nice example of the 58 mantle card. And now moving on to 1957. 57 is one of my favorite years. That's the first year that they actually made the cards the standard size. Tops began making them this size, which is the standard size. This is the first year. So this is the 57 mantle in a six. Again, it's a really nice shape, off-centered, but the corners are nice and sharp and the picture is really, really clean. 
This is the one that has like the ghost in the back. You can see right here, they call it the ghost, but basically that's a player that they, they kind of blacked out. Rumor is that that's the ghost of uh, Babe Ruth. So here comes the back of this card. You can see the nice 1957 mantle. So one more look at that mantle. Now we're gonna move into the 1957 the barrel mantle, the Yankees power hitters card. And this one is a PSA 5. And this has the two Hall of Famers, Mantle and Barra. You can see that's a real nice card of them in the dugout. That's a really nice little card. I love that. You can see them in their old uniforms back from 1957. That's a really nice card. I just love that picture. And here's the back of the card. Showing the Yankees power hitters. Give you a good shot of that so you can pause it and read it if you want to. But that's uh, Mantle and Baron, 1957. So we're going to move on now to 1956. And that is one of the classic cards, one of my favorite cards don't have it in good condition but I have it and that's the main thing so here comes the uh, this is in a PSA 3 and that's the mantle 56 and this is a gray back this one is uh, rough corners but nicely centered and it has a nice picture of the mech nice clean front just the uh, corners are a little messed up then the back Again, it's nice, pretty clean, just uh, just the rounded corners. But that's a tough card of 1956. That's when he uh, won the Triple Crown. So that's a classic card, 1956 Mantor. So now we're gonna move on to 1955. And here comes another classic mantle. This is the TV mantle, the 55 Bowman. This one is in a um, X-Men 6, PSA 6. Again, another hard one to get in good condition because of the corners. This one has nice, nice sharp corners. It's nicely centered. Little chips on the, the top, but that's common. But another beautiful mantle in a six, 1955. We'll take a look at the back of this uh, TV set card. Number 202, again, another really, really nice card. Shows all his stats. This is the Bowman, 55 Bowman. Oh, they call it the TV set. And that one is in a in a six holder. Beautifully centered, very nice picture, nice clean card. And now we're going moving on to the 1954. 54 Bowman. Again, there were no uh, 55 tops. And there was no uh, 54 tops of uh, of mantle. He only appeared in Bowman. In, in these years. Actually, he appeared in the Red Heart card, then we'll, we'll, get a, we'll show you that one in a little bit. But here is the Bowman 54 in a five. This is again, a beautiful card. Nice, corners are nice, just uh, off center, top to bottom, which is normal for these cards in those years. So there's the 54 Bowman. And here's the back of the 54 Bowman. And that's it. Good look at that card. And 
that's an A5. Looks a lot sharper than a 5 in the front. So now we're going to move on to the 54 Red Heart. And this was a Red Heart dog food. And this one is an A6. This is a tough card to get. This came in uh, dog food bags, a bag of dog food, the Red Heart dog food bag. So this was really tough to get in nice condition, especially uh, an oversized card like this from 1954. This one is in a six. And uh, get a good look at that card. Again, it's in really nice shape. Nicely centered. Just has a little thing in one of the corners here, but other than that, it's a beautiful, beautiful Mickey Mantle 54. I like these portrait cards, similar to the uh, 52 tops almost. And here's the back of the Red Heart dog food. There it is. Red Heart, the big league dog food. This is a 1954 Mantle. Red Heart. A little, little soft corner over here. But other than that, all the other corners are nice and sharp and nicely centered. 54 Red Heart. In a six. Here comes the 1953 Bowman Color. This is one of my favorite cards. It's a beautiful card. Uh, it's an actual picture of Mantle. Taken back in uh, 1953, and here we go. This is a beauty. You know, these cards, some of them have like rough edges. You can, you can see right here, rough cut. But it's a nice, beautiful card. It's just uh, slightly off-centered. But it's a beautiful card and a seven stained. And the, the stain is in the back. The stain is just wax from the uh, gum, and I'll show it to you here. And that's where it says it's stained. That's from the wax. So it does have a stain in the back, but the card is basically spotless in the front, beautiful in the front, with the sharp corners. Got the nice rough cut, which is normal for those cards nice sharp sharp corners so this is a seven with a stain in the back 53 bowman color here comes <clears throat> one of my favorite cards of all which is a uh, 53 tops mantle and this one is in a six and this one is nicely centered uh, left to right a little bit off on the top to bottom but these cards are extremely, extremely hard to get in, in this kind of condition because of the red banner on the bottom. And that little corner on that, of the red always shows some white on there because it just gets dinged so, so easily. But this is a beautiful car. As you can see, it just has a tiny little touch on the corner here and is a little bit off-centered. But other than that, that's a beauty. It's in a six. Nice corners. Nice, beautiful card of Mantle 1953 tops. One of my favorite cards from the make. Let's take a look at the other side. There's the back. You can see how clean that card looks. That's just a nice, beautiful card. I love this card. It's got his facsimile autograph on there. Got some stats, but it's a beautiful, beautiful card. Take one more look at that one, and that's the 1953 Tops. One of his more desirable cards, especially in in top condition. This one is a six. So moving on to 1952 is the 52 Bowman. This one is in a five. And this one is again, nice, beautiful, clean card. 
a little off center top to bottom but uh, left to right it's nicely centered and here is the 52 Bowman 52 Bowman try to give you a good look at it it's a beautiful card shows them sitting like on the dugout steps there that's the 53 Bowman and that's in a five and here comes the back to go to the back of the Bowman nice beautiful clean cards number 101 and you can see the back of that card if you want to read it you can pause it and you can read it So that's the 1952 Bowman. And that's in a five. Now we're gonna get to the, uh, the rookie cards. Uh, we're gonna first, I'm gonna show you the 1951, which is his actual rookie card. And this one is in a three. Not in the greatest condition, but I've got the rookie card and I've got it in a decent uh, condition. It's, uh, it's got some staining in the corner here. It looks like it has some type of water stain, but it's nicely centered. And it's the 53 Bowman in a three. That's his actual rookie card. See the it's centered and the corners a little rough, but it's a rookie card. It's a Mickey Mantle 1951 Bowman. And here's the back. The back looks nice and clean. Number 253. This was a high number card. From the high series so that's why it's a difficult card to get but there's the back and here's one more look at the front of the rookie 53 Bowman rookie and last but certainly not least comes the famous 52 tops mantle now this one I'm gonna do a whole video on this card so I'm not gonna show you the grade I'm going to show you the condition of this card so you can see it but I'm going to do a whole video just on this particular card because there's a whole story that on the card um, this card I got it from the original owner the person that actually took this card out of the pack so I am the second owner of this card and I have the provenance on it and I'm going to go through the whole story in another video on the history of this card, the person who opened the pack, how I got it, and the condition and so on. But as you can see, this card is a gorgeous card. This card, you're not going to get this card in this condition ever because this one came right out of the pack. That is the famous... 52 mantle look at that card look at the beautiful card the corners give you a good look at this card that's the 52 mantle the famous 52 mantle and look at the condition of that card There are two versions of the cards of the 52 Mantle. And I'll go over the differences on those when I do the video specifically on this card. I'm going to take a nice uh, 15, 20 minute video just to explain the differences between the two versions of the Mantle card and the history of how I got this Mantle card. Here's the back of it. You can see it's brand new right out of the pack. So I'll give you one last look at that mantle. So 
So I want to just thank you guys for taking a look at that vid this video. I really, really appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, and um, be. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the next video. It's going to be probably on this Mickey Mantle card. So probably going to release that sometime later on this week. So thank you very much for watching my videos. Please like, subscribe, and so on. And thank you very much for watching my Mickey Mantle collection. Have a great day.